Welcome back, everybody. It's time to lock down Arena here today. And today I want to switch it up, do something a little bit different, because we are in spoiler season for Ravnica Allegiance, as you can already see up on the screen. We just got a new one drop from the Merfolk community here. So we have a 1 1 1 drop that's a Merfolk Wizard Mutant, as they're trying to cram as many creature types as they can into Simic for some reason. But it's the Bethnic Biomancer, so we're going to try to do a little discussion on it here today. Uh, I don't claim to be the end-all be-all as far as advice or uh, even knowing what's going to be best in certain formats or anything because I'm still learning, but I'm excited for the new card and it uh, definitely is enticing enough to talk about and discuss whether or not it's going to be something we're going to be able to play uh, well in Standard or Modern or Legacy. So we will go over all those features here in just a little bit and talk about the card mechanics itself and everything. So let's get the game going. Let's see if I can concentrate on the game and still talk about this card. Uh, let me read to you what the card is right now. So they got the adapt feature. Uh, for this one, it's going to cost you a colorless and one blue for adapt, which is the new Simic mechanic. Uh, if you don't know, the Simic mechanic is if this creature has a no plus one plus one counters on it, put a plus one plus one counter on it. So you can only do it once. This is a very keepable hand. I like it. You can only do the adapt thing once. A lot of people say that's pretty weak as far as Simic goes. Uh, they want to be able to do it multiple times. But unfortunately, that's what they chose to do. Our opponent mulliganed, which is good. I like his name. That's funny. Uh, probably not super original, but you know, we'll work with it. Second thing on him is whenever one or more plus one plus one counters are put on Bethany Biomancer, draw a card then discard a card. So obviously, let's just get the uh, obvious one out of the way here. Standard is going to be able to use this card, the Exxon Merfolk, uh, Merfolk block uh, plays into counters all the time, and Allegiance is going to be no different, it seems. They're going to keep going with that, that type of game plan uh, as far as all that goes. So... You can combo off with that one, get plenty of counters on it with Jade Bearers and Deep Root Elites and so on and so forth. Switch out cards and draw into cards that you don't need and find ones you do need uh, very easily. Uh, in Standard, I think he will be pretty good. I'll go right along Miss Cloak Herald and Jade Bearer, I'm sure. Let's get our card draw here. Another Island. All right, we need some more gas, but we at least got Tricksters to slow him down. So, Standard, obvious. Um, I think it could work good in Standard because it just flows with what the meta is in Standard of Merfolk right now. Uh, and it is a wizard, too, so we could throw it in this deck that we're playing with right now if we wanted. If it didn't do too much damage to it, but I think it's a very good tempo card if, if need be. We're not going to play Tricksters till the next turn. Let's just swing in. He's getting a little screwed, so it's unfortunate. Another Curious Obsession. All right, that's good. So... Modern, uh, or actually, you no, know, I'll touch on Legacy really quick. I don't play Legacy. I, I never have, so I can't give my advice at all uh, to how Legacy is going to be. Uh, I'm just going to play Trickster, I guess, for no worries. Just start swinging it for more damage. Uh, so I'll let the Legacy players play, uh, give their opinion on Legacy, because right now I don't have any say in the matter. I've, I've never played before that. I've heard some people say on Twitter, uh, Fish in the Merfolk podcast, you guys can go subscribe to them, follow them on Twitter as well. Uh, good uh, group of guys over there. They uh, said they might try it out in Legacy even, so we'll see. Um, we're just stomping these guys right now. Unfortunately, they're just a little screwed in hand. Uh, but it gives me a chance to talk about the card more, so that's it for Legacy, really. Let's draw our two cards. Let's see that. Okay. And um, modern. It's debatable right now if it's going to be good in modern. Again, Fish in the Merfolk podcast. I know we're having the same thoughts I was at first when I saw the card. This could be a good, like, late game uh, card where if we have things we in hand that we don't need in the late game, like a vial or a land, we forget to play something. Okay, I don't. Storm Tamer out for extra protection. 
pretty much all but dead right now. Sorry, man. Stuff. He's not even gonna be able to play anything. I'm just gonna whisper retarded. <laughs> I'm not even gonna play my land. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, good game. Nikachu was saying uh, this is something that he was kind of considering as a possible good card to have, maybe some kind of cycling card. Um, well, I'm just going to let him play it. <laughs> I'm just gonna let him play it. But uh, it could be something that we could do at end of game to just get rid of a card we don't need and draw into something else we do need. Um, so that could be potential there. Now, the biggest thing, though, that everybody's talking about is... We just, uh, we've got a, a really good lineup right now of cards in our Modern Merfolk deck. It's hard to really cut stuff right now, especially one drops. Curse Catcher could be coming back into the fold uh, as far as um, uh, the, if the meta starts shifting back that way. Right now we're, we're going Mistcaller for a lot of the dredge decks. Um, so it's hard to say what we could really cut to put him into the deck. Uh, but I guess we'll have to play and see, and I'm sure there's going to be playtesting going on with them. I do think it's an intriguing card, and at least it's a, a one-drop that we might be able to use in Modern as well. There's a possibility of using it at least, um, at, at least for like an end-all, be-all, just card draw cycle type move. So, very interesting. It's a beautiful card. I actually, I, I love the artwork. It's very cool. I'm glad <laughs> Allegiance is starting to look a little bit more like Merfolk and not so much like this advanced civilization, I guess, a mer tribal Merfolk. Uh, this, like, you know, Aztecian-inspired Merfolk guys. As, as cool as some of them were, Kumena is an awesome-looking card. Jade Bear, I mean, I love the designs of them. I, I don't feel they're very Merfolk, but uh, they uh, look like they're going more mer uh, towards the classic Merfolk style in so, so I really like the artwork on the Biomancer. He looks sweet. Uh, foil of this is going to be dope. So <laughs> I'm looking forward to getting them in my booster packs and everything. Obviously, like I said, I, I'm not going to be the guy saying, um, take my advice, I know everything. I'm just a guy who likes to talk about magic and enjoys Merfolk cards. So I figured, just came out this morning, why not talk about it? The conversation has just started. Follow all of our, all of us uh, Merfolk guys over on Twitter. Subscribe if you like the video. Stay tuned. Maybe we'll do this again if we get more spoilers. I think we've only seen three spoilers so far uh, for Merfolk and Allegiance. So maybe we'll have more conversations about other cards that come out. Uh, let me know if you guys want to uh, talk more about that or see me talk more about that. And stay tuned for our next quick win. Thanks for watching.